In the previous video, we analyzed the state space solution uh, of a dynamic system, continuous time dynamic system, using the time domain approach. Now we will try to figure out the same approach uh, or same solution using the Laplace domain uh, representation. Okay, so let's start with an uh, autonomous system. Let's just forget the input for now. Okay, let's assume that u of t is equal to zero. Okay, this is like state space representation. So if we take the Laplace transform of so society of that, this is equal to x, x of s minus x zero because we have an initial condition is equal to a times x of s okay so if we organize s x of s minus a x of s is equal to x zero let's say it x zero okay s i minus a as you can see this uh, like expression is very familiar it's the eigenvalue equation uh, x of s is equal to x naught and if we find solution x of s is equal to s i minus a inverse times x zero. Okay, this is the solution in Laplace domain. If you find the solution, if you would like to find solution in time domain, what we do is we take impasse, uh, inverse Laplace transform of this, which is equal to Laplace inverse of s i minus a inverse times x0 because x0 is constant we just pop out from the Laplace transform and we already know that this is equal to e to the power a t okay so one way of computing e to the power a t as you can see uh, computing s i minus a inverse and taking the inverse Laplace of this which will give you the state transition matrix e to the power a t okay so as you can see, there is a close relation between Laplace domain and time domain solution. Okay. So if uh, you have a third order or second order system, and if A is not in the uh, like limited scenario uh, of system where you can easily compute e to power AT using the uh, definition of the uh, matrix exponential, uh, I really find this method is easier to compute uh, state transition matrix, such as just compute SI minus A, to take the inverse uh, and take the inverse Laplace transform, and you will technically find e to power at in the time domain. Okay, so this is good. Uh, and now let's analyze. Okay, so for that, uh, no initial condition, uh, but we have an input. Okay, so we have the same equation x of t is equal to a x of t plus b u of t, but we know that x is equal to zero. Take the Laplace transform. X, uh, x of s is equal to a x of s plus b u of s okay so s i minus a no not inverse here okay x of s is equal to uh, okay b u of s okay that's great okay this is the uh, x uh, directly system evolution equation si minus a inverse times b times u of s so if we compute y of s okay because we know that y of t is equal to c times x of t plus b times u of t we will find that this is equal to c times si minus a inverse b plus d times u of s okay so if we compute y of t, what we do is, so we have a Laplace domain expression here, we have a Laplace domain expression here, okay, take the inverse Laplace, and which is equal to Laplace inverse, c s i minus a inverse b plus d convolution u of t. Okay, we have a convolution, and we know that this is equal to the impulse response of the system so g of t is the impulse response of this expression so c b d these are just constants uh, now c and b these are constant if we take the inverse laplace of this we will see that this is equal to c times si minus a inverse laplace transform we already know that it's equal to e to the power a t b d times sigma t okay this is impulse response of the system okay this is the same uh, solution that we already found using the time domain approach 